All right, folks, just making a quick video today about uh, the new Ubiquity AI key that just came out. Uh, Crosstalk Solutions used to do these kind of videos, and I thought they were really insightful. So uh, without further ado, just kind of kind of run through the video. It's only about two minutes, and we'll talk about a couple of the features that they list here. Um, first off, right off the bat, you know, they mentioned about, you know, other, other companies having, you know, monthly fees, licenses, all that sort of thing. Um, so far this looks like no no external sort of license no other kind of fees no monthly charges so you buy the box and you're good to go you still get software updates kind of thing for however long they decide to support it so I'll keep on going here uh, obviously license plate and car and people detection so all this image classification you know automatic license plate readers um, all that kind of fun stuff. Also mentions they are not, it's not just the AI cameras, this also works with any of their cameras, so that's really nice. Um, I'm assuming that'll include the AI port that they have, so uh, third-party cameras that you can attach to the uh, Ubiquity system there and get that going. A um, couple other things that they listed here, so yeah, the person detection, what they're wearing, so image classification, really slick stuff, car, the color of car, type of car, um, intuitive search, look for somebody with a red shirt, red, red car, a um, little bit concerning here, they show two, four, five U worth of these in, in three per U unit rack, so 15 boxes, it makes me wonder, um, uh, how much image classification they're actually doing in one go here. Um, the spec sheet lists 1,000 detections per hour, so that's telling me that's mostly about maybe one per every three seconds here sort of thing. Um, we'll look at the tech specs in a moment. Uh, they're looking at other sort of integrations here. Slack we see here, we saw Webhook and a few others. Looks pretty awesome. Be able to integrate that to other outside services. Um, I mentioned this is in Protect 5.2. I see that's available for my UVM Pro, so I'll be upgrading that here in a moment. Um, also works with their access controls. Um, I'm not running any of that, so I can comment on it. So um, Archiving out to external services, you know, Google Cloud and iCloud, I think I saw. That's pretty good. Yeah, pretty slick stuff. Let's go look at the spec sheet real quick here. Um, it is listed for $679. That's a bit on the pricey side to me, but uh, then again, this is ubiquity. It's kind of more prosumer level of hardware and prosumer level of pricing. So they do mention 1,000 smart detection events per hour. So roughly one every three seconds is what I'm guessing. So. Um, they mentioned a Cortex A78 AE v version 8.2, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, um, 45 watts power. I don't think that's too terrible for doing image classification um, on the fly, so not too bad. Um, they have a sample deployment plan here. Just plug it into the network on a unify or any kind of switch here, and off to the races. In the box, just the AI key, also fun. Uh, build features, so they get into a little bit more of the tech specs here. Classification, touch screen, you know, the usual one inch touch screen that's on the front. Uh, event detections with Next AI, um, Gigabit, uh, PoE++ in port, so it can be powered through that. Uh, there is no other sort of power port that I see on this, so you'll have to have a switch that supports the PoE++ standard, which is where that 45 watt number comes from. Um, so kind of other sort of options here I'm seeing with this. I mean, like, you know, I'm a home labber myself, and so we have in the house, in the uh, garage here, I have a 42U rack, and in that I have a, an AI server with a pretty beefy CPU, uh, GPU in it already. So, a um, couple of other options I see 
for folks that don't want to shell out almost seven hundred dollars for this box um, one that gets brought up a lot is blue iris um, it's windows but it's uh, I believe it's free to, I'm sorry it's not free there's free uh, free demo but um, you're paying something like eighty dollars for the full version or forty for the light I'm sure for the AI detection stuff you need to have the full version um, there's also a couple of other open source ones I want to bring up as well too. Um, Zoneminder is another one. Uh, these days it does support, you know, any camera. So you could probably turn on like a, a WebRTC on the or, or a HLS on on the, your Ubiquiti cameras and bring them into something like this. Um, they have also the AI powered detection uh, event server Zia Magic. Are options there. Um, Freegate is another one. Freegate is a free open source sort of software um, and they're doing things with like the Coral TPU that can plug in. I'm sure that's like the U, you know USB or the uh, M.2 or, or any of those boards that can plug in. Um, they are offering Freegate Plus these days um, free or $50 a year so um, Hopefully they keep the open source stuff going. Um, another one real quick is just talk about, you know, we mentioned about that uh, A78AE 8.2 here, uh, the Cortex processor. It's like, what can that be? So um, that has all the GPU compute that they're obviously using something here. Um, was it an MPU? Is it a Coral? What's going on? Um, my best guess is they're using some sort of NVIDIA Jetson. Um, Jetson Oro Nanos came out about two years ago using that same uh, A78AE. Um, back then the prices were 4 gig for 200 and 8 gig for 300 when purchasing 1,000 units. Um, just last month, December 2024, they introduced an updated Oro Nano, 1.75% uh, times performance. And reduce the price from 499 to 249. So, I'm guessing that this is a 16 gig variant of a Orin na updated Orin Nano that they're probably getting for a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars a board, and, and that's probably why this is a uh, seven hundred dollar box from Ubiquity. So, um, yeah, pretty pretty slick stuff. Um, always interested with the. Uh, latest and greatest with AI and ubiquity so uh, stay tuned for more videos I'll try to do once one of these uh, kind of videos each time ubiquity comes out with something all right thanks see you guys